Hey everyone! Since I've been going through my inventory of all the videos that I've done, there's some that I've watched and I'm like, hmm, I'm not going to post that because I don't agree with what I said anymore. So I have a list of things I want to redo at some point. Um, but this is something that I've never actually showed on video before, so I thought, well, since I have to do it tonight, might as well record it. I am prepping the um, air fryer chicken sandwiches that we're having for dinner tomorrow night. In order to make those, I have to do work the night before. So I have to get out my chicken breasts. I have to mix up a cup of buttermilk and a cup of pickle juice. I also, um, I sometimes add in pickle juice from like a jar of pickled jalapenos because they go through those a lot faster than pickles. Plus it adds a little extra kick. Um, and I have to pound them out. And I've never shown how to use this tool before. To be honest, I don't even use it that often. One thing I did learn though is majority of them can't go in the dishwasher. So don't do that or you will ruin half of your dishes and have to buy a new one anyway. Um, so I first I gotta start, I have my specific cutting board for my meat. Not sure I ever talked about that before either, but I'll do that in a different video. But for meat, I always use a plastic cutting board and not a wood one because I don't want the juices to seep into the wood. I'm going to use my knife to open my bag here. Okay. Pull out my chicken breasts. Put that back here. Um, one thing I do too when I am prepping a chicken breast is I kind of look for gross fatty pieces. Um, or any weird areas. Looks like I already prepped these, which is good. Um, so then you're gonna take your chicken breast and you're going to cut in half so that you have two main pieces. And this one's a little smaller. All right. So now what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take these chicken breasts and you're supposed to pound them down to be thinner. I try to give space between each of the chicken breasts. And then, actually, let me wash my hands really quick. I know I'm recording, but I don't wanna have raw meat everywhere. Contamination. All right, so now I'll take, I usually cover mine with a cling wrap. I can't say if that's like the healthiest thing to do or not, but it sure in heck helps with cleanup and not getting mashed chicken pieces everywhere. So I put this on top of the chicken and then you wanna take your mallet. I'm using the smooth side. I've actually never used the rough side. I'm assuming that's for tenderizing steaks and stuff, but we don't hardly ever eat those. Um, and when you bang down, you're not just gonna go down, you're gonna kinda of go out in that kind of motion. So. Because you're not trying to just like pulverize it into oblivion. What you're trying to do is smash it out. All right, let me do this piece down here and I'll show you the difference. So now you see like two of those are smashed out and the two aren't. So let me finish that process. This breast is being a jerk. Now they're all pounded out and thin. So now what I do, I'm just gonna reuse that plastic to save waste. I'm gonna take my thinner pieces, I'm gonna dunk them into the buttermilk pickle juice mixture. Take that same piece of saran wrap, just because it's covering raw chicken anyway, why not reuse it instead of wasting resources and money? And now 
I have my prep chicken for tomorrow. Wash my hands again. I like to try and be careful about spreading raw meat all over the place. Also, Caleb's a huge germaphobe, so. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Um, so I just wanted to show you that process, how to use a mallet, how you pound out your chicken breast, and just kind of show you a little bit of what I'm making tomorrow. See you later. Thanks for watching.